Hi, I'm Angie and yeah, I saw this mold online. I have a picture somewhere. And I thought, well, I mean, I really want to achieve this like dripping look, um, but I really don't want to um, yeah, invest in a new mold. And I also don't really want to buy the mold because then I would need to be more precise in like my coloring. And so I thought I'll just try out a couple of things and try my own um, yeah, type of dripping effect. And yeah, that's what we are trying out today. Um, I have a couple of different colors and yeah, let's hope for the best. Here is the mold I'm going to use today. So this is yeah, a bar mold that I will polish first with a micro cloth. And then um, in a second, I'll show you um, the colors that I'm using today. Here are my colors. So I have a, um, an orange, a yellow, green, white, purple, blue. Now we'll melt those and then we can start. Thinking about how I'm going to do that. Let's start with the first row here. Don't know exactly how much I will need. What if I just do that? Yeah, that works. Maybe a little bit more here. Cool. So what I don't want, I don't want to cover the whole mold with color. Um, I just really want some dripping effects. Okay, I think the white is looking good. Um, I'll grab another color. Back with some yellow. Do this orange. Some green. Ooh, that was too much. <laughs> oh well. Moving on with some blue. I'm trying just to fill the gaps a little bit. My last color. That was so much easier than I thought it would be. Um, I mean, I, I'm not done yet. <laughs> I haven't seen the end result. Um, but it looks really cool. So we'll see. And yeah, so I really like to use those bottles. They're really handy. And you get those bottles with, uh, with this tip from um, Chef Rubber. So if you order their smallest size, I don't know what it is, maybe um, two ounces, um, then you will get those bottles. So I think they're really, really handy. Um, yeah, okay, cool. I'm a little bit confused that it was so easy. Um, maybe they turn out um, horrible, I'm not sure. But yeah, now I'll let those set, those colors set. I'll temper my chocolate and yeah, then um, yeah, you already see the end result. So yeah, super quick and easy technique so far. Here we are. Let's turn them over and yeah, hope for the best. Yeah, I screwed up a little bit there with the yellow and the red. Um, I kind of was wondering about it because it was, uh, the temperatures were really high, but well, okay, we have three good ones. I'm happy. Oh, nice, look at that. 
They actually look really good. Also, I like how the colors blend in. Yeah, no, that was good. I like it. Maybe the purple, I mean, you can't see the purple really well um, because of the contrast. But other than that, I like it. Okay, cool. I would say this is a success. Yeah, no, I like it. I like it a lot. Thank you so much for watching my video. Um, as always, I hope you liked it. Um, you know the drill, hit the subscribe button, follow me on Instagram at chocolatespiel. Um, but of course you can also um, yeah, send me a question um, either on Instagram or leave just a comment here in the description below. And, and that's all from me today. Have a good one. Bye.